Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to use Keynote to create really cool chart animations. So suppose you want to use a chart or a graph in your video. But you don't want it just to appear. You want to actually show it building in some way. Well, you can do this using Keynote. In Keynote, you can build the same charts that you build in pages and in numbers, but you can actually have them animate and then export them as video. So let's start off here with a blank Keynote presentation. Just have a blank frame here. I've changed it to to blank. And I'm going to insert a chart. So let's just do a simple column chart here. And it's going to throw in some sample data. So now I've got the sample chart. And of course I can go in and alter these numbers uh, to anything I want. Um, and you can get the data that you want there. Now let's try to animate it. So with the chart selected, we can get rid of the data here. Uh, you can go over to the build area here. And typically you see the, the normal stuff you'd have, say if this was a picture or an image, you can have it build in a different way. But let's have it actually set to something like scale like that. And instead of just leaving it normal, like you can see the preview there, uh, we can set the delivery to change it to something else. So instead of all at once, we can do by series. And now you can see how it builds here in the preview area. Let's do it by element in series. And we can see each part build. Let's preview that. And I'm using the arrow keys to push each one. Now instead, if I wanted to actually uh, have it build by itself, I can change from on click to automatically. And now when I preview it, I can see the chart appear and it build like this. So you can basically have it build uh, all sorts of different ways. Um, so we can do it by set here instead. Um, and then you can set the timing of it, the duration, for each part here. Now here I've changed the effect to wipe and I'm going to have it wipe from uh, bottom to top. And you can see this makes much more sense here uh, for this kind of chart. Now let's go and change this to a pie chart. Let's go ahead and make it a 3D pie chart. And you can see I've got some settings in here. Let me create something like that. And uh, we can just leave the settings like this. Um, and we'll now go and animate it. And we'll have it pop like that. And we can actually have it do by wedge. So. I actually also like using the shimmer effect here as well by Wedge. It looks pretty good. Now let's go and change it to a, a line chart there. And then we can go and do things like, for instance, wipe. And we can do it left to right, which makes more sense. Um, and then we can do it by set. See how it does it there. It's kind of interesting, uh, but we can do it by series. Probably makes more sense. A lot of applications. And then for this line chart here, I might want to stretch it out. So by dragging, and now I end up with an even better effect. And of course, like anything in Keynote with a drawing to export, you simply go to File Export uh, and export it at full quality. Uh, with uh, fixed timing if you like. Um, and you can also, before you do that, go to the document settings here and make sure the slide size is the same as the video that you're making that you're going to export this to. And then you could drag and drop the result into iMovie or Final Cut Pro.
So this is another example of how you can use Keynote to create really cool pieces for video that you then create in iMovie or Final Cut Pro. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.